So today I wanted to make a video about the home server setup that I use for all my work, tell you a little bit about all of the things I use it for and some of the lessons I've learned in maintaining it for the last couple of years. So when I first planned this build out, I wanted something that could be used to host virtual machines, something that can act as a media server and NAS storage for content and backup, um, something that could be um, a hub of sorts for all of the IoT devices around the house. Um, and I had a lot of projects going on that required a persistent backend in my local network, and this was going to be the perfect place to host it. So in the past, I would rent cloud servers for hosting dev environments in. I would use things like these Latte Panda mini PCs or Raspberry Pis for the odd project. But at the end of the day, I aspired to having a dedicated home server setup. And the thing that held me back for the longest time was a lack of portability. I knew that I had a bunch more moving around to do and I didn't want to have this heavy, clunky appliance that I needed to take around with me. But eventually my interest sort of culminated in me wanting to invest in a proper setup. So I got this 12 view rack here that sits on caster wheels and it's pretty easy to move around. In fact, I moved it in a truck last month and I'm happy to report that nothing broke in the process. Um, and it was as simple as bringing it over to the new place, plugging in power and the network connection in from my new ISP and it booted up my whole network in a couple of minutes. All right, so to tell you a little bit more, the foundation of my setup is my AMD system down at the bottom. It's built into a 2U chassis. It's got an AMD 5600X CPU. It's got 64 gigs of RAM for all of my virtualization needs. Um, it's got 75 terabytes of disk storage for my media and NAS server. It's even got a couple of SSDs for all of the applications that I want to keep running on it. I run TrueNAS Scale as the base operating system for this build. It essentially combines NAS software and virtualization servers, so it lets me do everything I want to do with this build in one interface. So before this, I never really had a great reason to customize my home network either. I would do the odd thing like install a Pi-hole instance or a PFSense to get some ad blocking or some additional privacy, but that'd be pretty much it. Today though, my whole home network is designed around my servers. Um, so this rack holds all of my servers and the rest of my networking gear that essentially allows me to plug in the connection from my ISP. And this rig will take care of creating a new network. It'll create a bunch of VLANs for isolating some of the hardware projects that I've got going. Uh, it even sets up a firewall and a private DNS with Pi-hole. Um, it also has a Wi-Fi router, so it can create its own Wi-Fi network that everything connects to. So as far as my home network and setup is concerned, I can bring this over to a new location, just plug in power and an internet cable and have my whole network set up as it was, like nothing changed. So within it, I run a whole host of other applications. Um, I use it as dev environment, so my laptop connects to it. I run uh, all sorts of workloads in there. I have hardware projects like the plant monitoring system outside that connects up to this server and stores all of its data there. At the end of the day, what this setup allows me to do is connect all of my local devices and all of my projects together. So it's seamless for me when I want to work on something new or work on a project that requires you know pushing some data from a from a, a sensor down in the plant beds into software that I have running on my Mac let's say. Um, I use this setup almost every single day and it's a joy to have when I need it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm hoping to make a couple more videos about specific projects that I run on this thing. Um, I've also got a blog post up that I wrote a couple of years ago that uh, detail all of the parts that went into this build. I'll link down to it down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll keep sharing more about this setup and how it evolves over the coming years.